What's up, Sooner Nation? Softball bros coming at you again with some transfer portal updates and some also some accolades for current Sooners as we are in the offseason of Sooner softball, but there's a lot of happenings uh, with Sooner softball. But first, uh, we appreciate you guys subscribing. We know there's several watching these videos that have not subscribed yet, so we're asking you right now just to click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, uh, and you will be updated as we post new videos, which will be pretty much daily. Uh, so click the subscribe button, be a Sooner Surge subscriber, so you can stay up to date with the content. Today, guys, uh, kind of some surprising news with Jocelyn Erickson entering the portal. Let me start by saying it's not a, a total shock. Uh, it is a bit of a surprise because it's very close to the end of time where you can enter the portal. So uh, there's some things with that. But obviously, guys, uh, maybe playing time could be an issue because Cindy Sanders, you know, is not going anywhere. She's there for two more years. Uh, we know that she could also play some, you know, she played right field, but Torres is there, pretty much a staple out there. Uh, I don't know if she was able to catch, but she's not going to be there. So. Uh, we've also known that she wants to stay kind of, you know, I'd heard that back home at Utah, uh, her older sister is going to Utah State. I don't know where she's going to end up, but this is a little bit of a, a big blow, I think, for Sooner, for the Sooner softball team, because she was a pretty good hitter when she was in there, guys. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of this, I mean, who knows really everything behind it, but like you said, she did catch in high school. Uh, and you already have Hanson, and, and oh, you lost Nugent too, which was a, a catcher. So that that position there behind K Hanson, I think, is a little bit of a worry, uh, especially if Hanson gets injured. So th that would be a, a concern for me as a Sooner fan. But who knows? I mean, obviously, to me, if she's wanting to go back home, I would think the destination would be Utah itself, um, especially with connections from OU coaches, maybe that they BYU can get also and BYU, yeah. But you know. It, this is a girl in her freshman year that, that had power. She had she was a good hitter when she was in there for sure. And so I also wonder if, if any of this has to do with playing time. I mean, I, I don't know. There's nothing I can say that I, I can't say anything to tell you that I know the reason. I was I was a little bit shocked today uh, by it um, just because, you know, we had the two that entered the portal earlier, obviously, with Ball and Nugent. And then it's been quiet. But we basically have two more days, you know, 11.59 p.m. on the 28th, which is Wednesday, last time you can enter the portal. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah, I think just as Jeremy said, um, I if I had to come up with a cause, obviously it's not our right to guess, but it would probably mainly be because of playing time. Because earlier in the year for about the first 25 games, her and Sydney Sanders were trading off spots at first base and, Sanders really took that role and grabbed and just really grabbed it and ran with it. Yeah, but, so, but I, I also think you can't underestimate the family part of it because we know that she was big family family yeah. person and with her sister going to Utah State and I I know even just since she's been here I know the family it, it's got that's a long ways away from home. Mm -hmm. If you're having an opportunity to play every day close to home, that's a big deal as we know with the Jordy Ball thing. Yeah, Brandon, what are I your thoughts? The playing time. She, she, I thought she was pretty good player, pretty good hitter. Yeah, yeah, and that well, side of the play too. The playing time. I mean, she played really for a true for a freshman. She played quite a bit. I thought. I mean, so yes. I don't know how much yeah. that really does play. It's hard to know. I hate losing a lefty. Uh, it's always nice to have a lefty because honestly, outside of Coleman, can't. I mean, OU doesn't have many lefties. Yeah, but here, the here's the deal. Here's the deal. She was also – she's a utility player. She, she could play multiple positions. Right. You know, there's another utility player out there um, that's in the portal that I heard had a visit today to Norman. Um, and Taryn Kern, who was All-American freshman at Indiana, who also bats left-handed. And she would be a massive get out of the portal. Now, who knows if it's, it's, if it's going to happen – I can't say whether it's going to happen or not. I don't know. But I have heard that she did make a visit today. So that's just what I heard today. So, I mean, take it for what you're well, worth as far as if she's going to come to OU. But well, that would be a great addition. 
Well, and there's also a thing is I believe she plays middle infield, isn't that? She does. Hey. So, yeah. The thing is, you don't really want to put a left-handed player at shortstop because it's just an unnatural throw. So maybe I'm thinking. She throws hey, right. She throws right-handed. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Throws right. Pats left, left, throws right. Uh-huh. Hey. Okay. Listen, and Jay, you bring up a, you know, you bring up current. Look, you're not going to visit OU and probably walk away unimpressed. Okay, guys, if she wants to go here, she's going to be coming here. You got a new stadium in the mix. It's probably going to open maybe next year, they're saying, maybe by opening game uh, at Love Field. You got the best team that's ever played the game, uh, the best staff, as was voted. Uh, best staff we saw recently so this you're right jay this would be a massive get out of the portal the other position you mentioned and i don't know if anyone if Braden or jackson have any thoughts on this but you're right they need a catcher they've got to get i don't know who patty's got in mind as far as catcher uh for being a backup to hansen if there's someone else that can play that position or if there's someone coming from the portal but you have to get a backup catcher Yes, for sure. Yeah, I really don't know who Patty Gass was thinking. Obviously, right now, when you're looking at the depth of the roster, you would still like to have Sophia Nugent there um, to be your backup catcher. Mm-hmm. But she I'm going to trust what Patty Gasso has planned. It's still a super early in the transfer portal process. Right now, a lot of players are just not going to start taking their visits as they decide whether or not they're going to enter the portal. So these next next few weeks, I would expect to hear you really a lot more um, stuff about people that are visiting OU. You may even see some visit photos from players. So in these next few, few weeks, I think, is whenever we'll really know what the depth and outcome of the roster is going to look like. Yeah, and Kern, you know, Kern hasn't put anything out about our visit. And so I'm, I, I had two sources that said that today. So until that's confirmed public, I mean – I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I heard that she was in there today. So we'll see if, if she does do photos. I don't know. I've, I'm trying to remember if they did that last year with visitors, if they did like a, you know, how the football team comes in and does a photo op and all that. I think that's more if you're going to commit and, and transfer. But, but Braden, what yeah. about, g- give me a, give me your thoughts on uh, Avery Hodge. Cause we saw the USA team that was, that was picked and you had Kenzie Hansen, Sydney Sanders and Avery Hodge. Yes. What, what about Hodge? I mean, where where does she play in the Sooners going for? Uh, shortstop. That's kind of where yeah. I'm thinking too. I think she's going to be the starting shortstop next year, guys. That that's kind of what my thoughts are too. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of thought of there's been a lot of thought of maybe Tra moving over to there now. Always a possibility. There's been thought of moving uh, third baseman right Brito to short and bringing in Torres, but with the with Erickson leaving, I don't know if that's maybe as much as a possibility now. You leave Torres out there and right. But with what they've lost, Nugent, Jordy Ball, Jocelyn Erickson, right? You would think people would be like, oh, my goodness. I mean, that's three solid, solid guys. I mean, one, unbelievable, and two, extremely talented, bright futures ahead of them. People would be like, man, what's going on in Norman? But they're, they're going to reload one way or another. And I'm excited to see some of the young ones that are even this uh, pitcher, Garen, is, uh, gets in there and things like that. So, I don't know. It would be yeah. interesting to see in the portal what else and, comes. And like you said, they're going to reload. And none of these ones that transferred, you know, people want to know why. Why are this person transferred? Why? It's not our it, – it's not our really – it doesn't matter. They went to where they wanted to go play, and it's a transfer portal. They can do whatever they want to do. And I wish all of those three the best of luck moving forward. I hope they kill it in their careers. I really do. And I hope Jordy Ball goes and dominates at Nebraska, you know. And, and same with Nugent and same with uh, uh, Erickson. But, you know, Patty Gasso is going to get a few out of the portal. And the portal closes in two days. There's a good list of players out there. But also, do you all see uh, anybody else in the next two days leaving Norman on the portal, guys? What do you think? I don't see anybody. You don't no, think they lose anymore? No, I mean I think it would kind of just have to be a shocking loss. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I look at if I mean, yeah, I it's just with the way the roster is constructed right now, 
with there being several open spots, it's going to allow for some players that didn't play last year to step in into the competition. Mm-hmm. Especially with this series that they do in the fall, like the inner scrimmages. Um, it's a great time for players to prove their worth. And that's where we saw a girl like Jocelyn, like Jocelyn Erickson. She played really well in that last year. She was able to show that's why she got a lot of playing time. So, and with these freshmen that are coming in, as as Jeremy said, I believe, uh, who's going to be the third pitcher on the staff? We don't know either. That's another. I'd probably deal. No. No, she'll probably be two. I think it'll be May, Dill, and then is it the Gern girl or Garen? Garen. I think she'll be three. I I think right now, I think you look at the positions and who they lost in the portal. I really, honest, I just think, I think Patty's going to go get what they lost. So she's going to get a catcher kind of for Nugent. She's going to probably try to get a utility player like Erickson and then probably get a, a pitcher. That that would be my guess, That the direction they would go. To fill the three that they lost, I would think you probably need about the same positions. That's just me. I think you could use Patty, it. Yeah, Patty did talk about this year, the depth. She talked about how she loved having three pretty much aces on the staff. She did not shy away from saying that. You know, whereas years past, they had two tops. Having three – was a game changer for her and having so much depth where she could do a lot of things. I mean, guys, Sophia Nugent uh, lay, laid down a great uh, sacrifice in, in the World Series, I believe, and Jocelyn Erickson pinch hit quite a bit. So these girls are, are – I mean, she used players deep into the roster. She used many players throughout the year. And well, and, and the same with Avery Hodge had a lot of pinch run, even just oh, yeah. running. I'm excited for Hodge getting an opportunity with this USA thing because Me too. it's just gonna it's gonna help her playing time. She's gonna as far as her skill set and things, she's just gonna get so much better playing this much. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I would it's, say I would say that as we wrap this up, you know, there's two more days sooner fans uh to watch for uh before the portal closes. That portal door will close uh, on Wednesday at eleven fifty nine PM. So we will see kind of uh, who's available in the portal, and we'll see if there's any other Sooners that leave. Um, so, so once again, though, thank you all for listening. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It always helps when you like and comment. Uh, also, would love the comments of who you think maybe position-wise OU may go after in the portal um, and maybe position or name-wise. So, once again, appreciate it, guys. Boomer. Boomer. Boomer.